everybody, I'm Hans Johansson and some of you guys wanted to know what kind of pedals I'm using live. Uh, I have three pedal boards, uh, so today I wanted to show you my smallest pedal board. Uh, it's, my, it's a pedal train board, uh, Metro 16 I think it's called, and it's got a Keox uh, power supply underneath which powers all the pedals. I, I think I have some split cables there too. So, um, And then it goes, the first pedal is the tuner, which is the polytune. And after that, it goes into the granite gray booster, which is a clean booster um, that I use to push the other overdrive pedals with. Uh, we're gonna take a uh, we're gonna take a look at that later. Um, and then the first overdrive pedal is my green screamer, my one control. All the these pedals are one control pedals except the polytube. Um, the green screamer is I have it set up like a low gain uh, sound. Uh, let's, uh, this is my clean sound. <laughs> There is a switch on the side where you can switch it to a vintage mode or modern mode. And I think in the vintage it's just like a regular tube screamer. And I have it in the modern mode so I get a little bit more bass, I guess. So then I can push this pedal with the booster. Sounds like this. Okay, and then it goes from that to the strawberry red overdrive, which has a little bit more gain. This is my medium gain pedal. Sounds like this. You can push it with the booster. Without the booster. This is probably one of my favorite one control pedals, the Strawberry Red. It, like, it works in almost every amp. Um, just a great sounding pedal. Uh, and after that I go into uh, the Purple Plexifier, which is kind of a uh, martial sound, I guess. Uh, this is my high gain sound. I have single coils here, maybe I should, these are Lundgren pickups, really great, B, uh, BGF Lundgren pickups, the same guy who designs these pedals have designed um, these pickups too. Uh, so let's take a listen to the Purple Plexifier. <laughs> So that's my three overdrive pedals, the distortion pedals. Um, so, and the granite gray really works great to pushing these pedals. So I, I get like six sounds out of, out of three pedals, out of four pedals, I guess. Okay. Um, after that pedal, 
we go into the chorus pedal. Sometimes I have um, a tremolo here as well, or I tend to swap out the, the chorus pedal with, with a tremolo sometimes. <laughs> Big sounding chorus. Sounds good. Uh, after that, I go into my volume pedal. Uh, this is not a, a regular boss, well, I don't know what it's called, F, FV30 I think, but it's got a, a buffer inside and uh, Björn has helped me modify it to, to change the sweep on this pedal. Re originally it's like nothing, nothing, nothing and then everything happens at the end. Now it's like nothing everything happens and then i'm to be honest i'm uh, this i really i'm looking for another volume pedal this size let's hear it uh, so if you if you know a good small volume pedal that works let me know okay so the next pedal is the delay pedal. Uh, sounds like this. It's kind of... Uh, it's not dark like the other uh, deep blue delay that Bjorn has made. Um, this, is, this one is a lot brighter. It has some uh, top end rolled off and... Uh, it feels almost like it's dynamic, like it's, what do you say, ducking for... It, it, it doesn't get in the way when you play. It's nice sounding, let's try with a uh, old drive pedal. I like it. Uh, and last, we have the reverb, uh, which I have had on all the time during this demo. A good sounding reverb that really uh, doesn't uh, get in the way either. It blends really nice with the guitar tone. So that's it. Uh, I'm running uh, everything in um, a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, which is the amp I try to rent when I'm out doing gig and can't bring my own amps. Um, so if I get a Hot Rod, a Fender amp and these pedals, I know I'm going to get some good tones. Otherwise, I'm playing on this Sewer Strat with the uh, Lundgren pickups. Uh, which are great. The, the bridge pickup sounds really fat for being a, a single coil. And that's basic, basically it, I think. Alright, thanks for wa watching and uh, next time we're gonna take a look at my medium board. Alright, have a good one. Bye.